Welcome to the morning show with Boomer. The ex-Jets quarterback opened his rebranded WFAN radio show Thursday by dealing with the news that his longtime partner Craig Carton had resigned amid Ponzi scheme charges. I think it's a good move for Craig, Esiason said of the Wednesday night announcement, and I think for he and his family he has to focus supremely on that. That's the one thing he has to take care of and that's the one thing we want him to do, we want him and his family to get through this. He's going to have to put all his energy in that. Carton, who had partnered with Esiason for 10 years on the popular Boomer and Carton morning show, was arrested and charged last week with running a ticket sale Ponzi scheme. Unfortunately, the unfounded legal issues currently plaguing me will only be a distraction to everyone at Finn and the show I helped build, Carton said in a statement. With that in mind, I have submitted my resignation to the station and they accepted. A Esiason called it a sad day, but admitted by resigning he takes a lot of pressure off all of us here at Fen. After saying that he would not be surprised to someday, somewhere, somehow find Carton back behind a microphone, a Esiason said we have to move forward. The Boomer and Carton chapter is now closed here, he added. The studio even got a quick overnight makeover. They came in here and scrubbed this studio, a Esiason told his audience about his new look digs. Anything that Craig was part of in studio unfortunately has been taken down, they almost took everything down of me, by the way. There was one light-hearted moment when a new jingle for the show was played, Boomer and Boomer. It's the end of Boomer and Carton, Esiason added, and for 10 years I sat next to somebody who I think, and I still believe this, is one of the great radio personalities that we'll have ever seen. He ended the opening segment by saying, I wish Craig and his family nothing but the best. Dot and papers filed in Manhattan Federal Court, federal authorities allege that the sports radio host tried to raise millions of dollars in 2016 to pay gambling debts to casinos and others. Carton, 48, remains free on $500,000 bail.